This shark found dead on Jacksonville Beach nearly two weeks ago. Now a biologist with the University of North Florida is hoping he can figure out how to stop hammerhead sharks from dying from stress. Experts believe that shark likely died from the stress of being caught and then released. Elizabeth Campbell spoke with local shark experts about why hammerhead sharks are more susceptible to stress from being caught, even if they're put back into the water. UNF shark biology graduate student John Whalen got this picture from a friend a couple of weeks ago of a 10-foot great hammerhead shark. We took it back to our lab, our necropsy lab back at UNF, and the hammerhead took up almost the whole table. Um, so we, we ended up dissecting it, and uh, we found a hook wound just in the corner of its mouth. Uh, it looked to be fresh, so we're thinking that it was probably caught recently and subsequently uh, died after that. Waylon and other UNF researchers believe this mature female shark died as a result of stress from capture by a recreational or commercial fisher. A high mortality rate um, because of fishery related stress for hammerheads, um, something with their physiology, but with the uh, fight time, as fight time increases with a hammerhead um, on the line, the cortisol levels will increase as well. And now cortisol is a stress hormone. So when these hormone levels increase, then uh, subsequently the, the shark will probably have a higher likelihood of dying. Even off the Jacksonville Beach Pier, it's not uncommon to catch a shark. Several being caught during the 30 minutes I spent there. Many types of hammerhead sharks, including the great hammerhead, are protected here in Florida. Meaning if you catch one, by law, you have to release it. Wayland's professor, Jim Gelschleider, says fishermen can't control what they catch on their lines, but they can be more aware. Once they identify what that species is, they really should not be... Um, should not be continuing the fight, so to speak. They should be trying to uh, cut the line as close to the hook as possible and release the animal while it's still in the water. Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, the local station. The next step for UNF biologists with that 10-foot shark is to determine how old it is. They say they can do that by counting the vertebral rings on its spine, similar to counting rings on a tree. They'll also possibly dissect it and use that skeleton for educational outreach.